Monaco Resort is my parents' lifeblood. Oh, it's a resort now? With the addition of the swimming pool, we should drive heavy tourist traffic right to our door. Dad, that's bleach for laundry. It kills the germs. That's a difference. I'm sorry. You're in arrears on the mortgage. Just give us a couple months, please. We'll get the money. How are you, Mr. Hey, I saw the, the interview we did for Milk. I really liked that interview. Oh, well, thank you. It was a charm. It's because you are charming. Oh. How's that? Thank you very <laughs> much. So what got you interested in um, the role of Billy, the post-traumatic? Well, you know, I think that it was really Ang Lee. As, you know, I knew I was going to do the film before I had even read the script. Um, the chance to get to work with Ang, I just, I was so, I was delighted when I got off the phone with my representatives and they said, Ang is considering you for a film, I was like, yes, thank you, thank you. Uh, you know, Brokeback Mountain and Crouching Tiger and Sense and I mean, every movie he's done. He's an auteur. I mean, name any director nowadays that can work from Brit Lit with Sense and Sensibility and then Action with Crouching Tiger and then a searing drama with Brokeback Mountain without missing a beat. Yeah, he's, he's unbelievable. So when I, when I actually read the script after I even knew I was going to do the film and then I saw that it was this really interesting character of this Vietnam veteran, I was, I was like, wow, and I get to play a great role. This is so exciting. I heard that he gave you assignments. And yeah, he, well, he sent me a big binder of just hippie material in about 25 different DVDs of just documentaries on Vietnam and and uh, document movies that my character would have seen, you know, like Fantastic Voyage. Doesn't, you wouldn't think Platoon. I would need to watch it for my character, but I did watch it. Platoon, all the Hamburger Hill, uh, Deer Hunter. So uh, there was a lot of that kind of material. And then he also hooked me up with different Vietnam veterans and also Iraq veterans. And some of the Iraq veterans took me to a shooting range. We shot M4s, we shot some Glocks. Um, different types of handguns, some Berettas as well, all day. We, I mean, we went through, I don't know how many rounds, we went through a lot of rounds. And uh, just, just learning the, the feel of the power of the guns and stuff was really helpful, especially for the flashback sequences when he really, when Billy really needs to be jolted, you know, you want to have felt what it's like to fire a gun. Right. And also, um, some of the Iraq guys, they took me out into the forest and they kind of put me through the ringer and uh, had me do all these different drills and you know it was funny though because we were in like upstate New York so of course we we were all checking ourselves for ticks afterwards <laughs> we were like oh man I remember this hill remember remember or like Vietnam flashback remember I remember remember man homecoming senior year. I heard you say in one of your interviews in the past that the most exciting nude scene in cinema was when you and the Earthlight players took off your clothes on stage. Yeah, that's about right. I think that's, it's, yeah. I think I was being a little too modest there, but you know. <laughs> and I think many of your fans would want to see that. Yeah, it was pretty funny because, you know, it was like we did probably like 10 takes and I'm totally naked with. Ten other naked people were all on the stage, and there's literally 300 people watching us. And uh, we were totally naked, and we were dancing around and like chanting. And it was, I mean, it was funny. The only concern, though, that I really had was that, you know, it wasn't like we were in the 70s or the 60s. It wasn't like we were in 69, where, the, where none of these crowd had iPhones with video camera. And, and like satellite link ups, you right, know what I mean? So right, right. Occasionally, so occasionally I'd see this really like dirty hippie dude like typing on his iPhone and I'd be like, oh God, like are they gonna get some crazy, you know, zoom on image or something? Aww. But, but I think I was cool. They were they were good folk. Congratulations on the movie again and nice to see you again. Yeah, nice to see you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Good luck. <laughs> All right, bye bye. <laughs> Starting. Go see this thing. See what the center of the universe looks like. I love this hill! It's beautiful. It's fate. I'm right there at the top of that hill. You gave them the brownies? <laughs>